<sighs> I wonder if people have actually went back and looked at every Monday video to see if I start them all off with the same exacerbated sigh or not, but that's not for me. Here we go. Challenge commence with another state turning out to be Colorado. This is the next one on the list. Um, never been to this state. I don't think I've actually ever flown over this state either, so I don't know how much information I can tell you. My sister was born here, actually. Um, I know we're on a highway, so there should be a road sign coming up saying what we're on. It's not. Um, it's a big, giant rectangle. Quadrilateral. Um, capital is Denver. Call the Centennial. Whoa, what the fuck? How did I end up here? Let's hit home and stay on the road. Because I don't think that was very helpful. So, okay, I see what happened now. The fuck town is this? I don't know. It seems like a highway, but the speed limit's 30. It's got a lot of roads, so it's got to be a very large um, city. Now, I know there's a few large cities in said state, with the largest being the capital, I believe. But as you can see, there's many more. And now it's just a matter of trying to figure out the frig this is. <clears throat> anyway, as we go along here, let's get the pleasantries out of the way. Um, how we doing? It's uh the Monday edition, like I said, so it's always gonna be the states, at least for a little while longer. Um, if you have any suggestions for maps or any Mountain Metropolitan Transit. That doesn't help me. I thought it would have told me the state or the city. It does not. If you guys have any suggestions for maps, you would like to have me try, or any other games or anything else in general, you go ahead. Put them in the comments below. I will look back. I will look at them and get back to them. I have not, as of this recording, I have yet to look at the ones from Friday, but once I finish with this, I will look at them. Um, not much to report on the weekend. It's just normal weekend. Uh, fire truck may help me. Can I get near the fire truck? Ah, it says right there what it is. That is unfortunate. Hmm. God damn it. Um. I guess I'll do around here. I really don't know much about this. I mean, when we went to this one, it was really sparse because they were still constructing a bunch of shit, which makes me feel like this isn't Denver, but I'm going to go up to this sign here, and maybe this will tell me. It does not. Okay. Hmm. Maybe the sign will. No, I mean, this is just slow, that in between, between sprawl and suburbia type stuff. Taking summer camp, huh? Was this a restaurant at one point? They just took it over to be Taekwondo. Interesting. Ten seconds left. I have not seen anything to tell me anything. So I hope I'm at least close. I'm in the state at least. <laughs> I'm nowhere near it. We were in Colorado Springs. Um, I had a friend of mine that moved out here for seasonal work for skiing. And I know that um, this seems weird. Redeemer Baptist Church, huh? Um hung out in a, this was like during the time when you're supposed to do stuff like this, hung out in a, uh, feed your hunger for adventure with beef. What a shitty 
attempt at a shoe in for I'm really hungry, so and adventure. Let me eat an animal. Especially something like a cow. Alright, so the bus might say on the side of it where we are. Otero Junior College. That doesn't help me. I don't know where the frig Otero is. So that's the tip too if you're ever in the US and you go by a school bus, usually on the side of the school bus it will say if not school district, the town. And it'll give you a little bit of a better idea. The problem is Otero means nothing to me. So I'm not really going to bother trying to uh, find it here. I'm going to zoom back out, just get the state right there. Hopefully, we'll see uh, Sacred Heart Church, Avondale, huh? Well, Avondale, I have no idea where the frig that is. I think it's a tiny, tiny town. So I have the name of the town. Now I just need to try to find a route sign letting me know what road I'm actually on. I'm hoping that um, an intersection will tell me what we're on. I mean, they'll probably just call this Avondale Road. Yep. Pyramid Sigs. Loaf and Jug. What a name for a gas station. Avonda and Arapaho doesn't help me. Oh, speaking of which, I've also finished that book. I cannot very well in good conscience recommend that book. It was not, if you like reading like I do, it just was not very interesting at all. Please give me a root sign. I mean, it was all about... I thought it was going to be Native American folklore. It was not. They said maybe one or two. It was all about cultural ethos and dynamics around it. And that's not what I was looking for. That's the type of book I don't find very interesting. And since I had already... Oh, don't do this to me. You sons of bitches. Okay, we're on 50. All right. I now have the point of reference. Here's 50. Okay. Look for Avondale. Hmm. It's always interesting what people will find very, like, compelling for them, like, interesting stuff to them that they'll watch and read and other people, it's like, oh, that's probably the most boring thing in the world. How could you actually find that intriguing and or interesting in any way? Now we're on the business 50. Okay. So I'm going to hit home. And you're heading into town, I believe. Am I going the wrong way? No, okay. We're near the Redeemer Baptist Church. Hmm. I don't know if it's going to show up here. Um, I think we're actually down here. Because if we went far... Oh, yeah, we were much farther down. I didn't click enough. I would have got it. But anyway, here's the mountains that my friend went and worked at when it was socially acceptable to do it. It was him, maybe five other guys around his age, and then one... Uh, one very old man. They got very much, <clears throat> they very much like to party. I don't know if these ha these runaway truck things are a thing in other countries, but usually on very steep uh, declines. If you ever have your, we're on West 70? Okay, yeah, here it is. If you ever have like a steep incline and your brakes end up failing, what most highways will do will they'll they'll add a uh a runaway truck lane designed to uh yeah see stop your truck there's a bunch of different ways they'll do it it'll be like um a side ramp like this and then it'll go on a steep incline and they don't usually plow it because that'll help kill the speed okay we're in Vail. You can see 8,000 feet. It's, it's pretty high up there. 
All right, so now I gotta try to find. Okay, there's Vale. Vale Ski Resort. Now I am not a skier in any way, so this is lost to me. I kind of wish I did, but if you're not aware, skiing is kind of expensive. Buying all the equipment. Um, now I'm. I don't know if I'm led to believe what I believe is you really don't even. The only thing you pay for at skis, I believe, uh, ski resorts is to actually, um, uh, 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 fuck, think of words. You're only actually paying to use the lifts. If you wanted to, you could actually, uh, this East Vale? I have no idea. You could actually just hike up to the top of the mountain yourself. I guess is free, or the only thing you pay for is maybe just entry, but I honestly don't know. Big surprise, I know. Why? I'm not seeing Eastvale anywhere. Or Westvale. Well, we're coming this way, so... Hmm. Vale Golf Club's closed for the season. That's a shame. Yeah, these are things, like I've said before, I would very much like to go hike. Seems very amazing to do. I mean, um, I don't know when I would actually get to do it. I don't know how expensive it is to, like, go to Vail. I'm sure it isn't cheap. I feel like East Vail should pop up somewhere here, and I'm just, I'm just not seeing it. Yeah, I don't think we're going to go this far away here. Um, would this be East Vale? It doesn't even say. Hmm. I think I'm close. That's a weird-ass house. Pretty cool, though. It's a definite, like, if you ever go to Steve Resorts and you happen to see the houses that are built around it, you see houses in the style of that. It's just weird angles, uh, the, the paint scheme, the windows. It's, it's an interesting setup they have. And I don't know if the mic's picking this up, but it's a very sick person. Oh yeah, it was way farther down. There's a very sick person living right underneath me, and they are continuously ralphing this morning. I feel bad for them. Um, no idea where this is. We're heading into heaven, apparently. Um, hopefully you're absolved of all your sins. Blah, blah, blah. I don't think this is going to say what the highway is. Yeah, no, it's not. The other one did. 22 miles is a lot to click to try to get any information within four minutes. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. But this very much does not seem like Colorado. It's very flat. Um see it could be down in this area or maybe even up here but this is very montaneous um so i'm just kind of hoping that some of these mile markers might actually say what road around but it's not hmm it looks like buildings up there at least so maybe we'll figure out where we are uh what this road should say State Highway 94, I believe, is what that said. There's 94. Okay. That's some dumbass luck, I think, but Pump Pumpkin Center is a great name. Is this Pumpkin Center up here? Can I get there in time? This very much looks like the Midwest. It's, it's pretty crazy. Uh, one more click. Callahan. Um... Cal hands right there. Okay. So if you take it's fifteen miles to Calhan. I wanna say we're like here then. I think I'm gonna get this. Feeling pretty confident. Uh can I get to whatever this is down here? Like I hope that these are buildings and not just trees, but I really don't know. Let's get there. Oh, the other thing I did this weekend, very exciting, is I went to a 
I guess it's a factory seconds sock sale. This is like exciting, dumb things you might even actually look forward to when you get older. It was a, uh, I don't know if they have these other places. It was, there's these Ellicott, Colorado Springs. Okay, nine miles to Ellicott. So we were like right here then, I believe. If Callahan was that way. I think I'm pretty close. Um, there's a couple of businesses in my Yoder. Yeah, okay, so Yoder is right there. So we were actually, like, way the fuck back here. Let me sit home and try to find if there's a road nearby. Go this way. Oh, yeah, this is the way we went. So I'm going to try to find a road. Um, that, like, Burton is in. There's a factory here. They have factory, like, end of season in, like, factory defects like one or two things are slightly wrong so they'll sell them at an extremely discounted price but it's still like the same really good quality clothing and i got a really nice burton snowboard jacket that i used when i went to iceland for i think it was like 300 dollars regular price but i might have got it for like 80 i mean it's some ridiculous like markdowns like that anyway there's another company uh in the state as well that sells Really good socks. <laughs> and they're pretty expensive, actually. Dinner Bell Drive. Okay, try to find Dinner Bell Drive. We ran out of time. Um, oh, we were the, the other way. Is that Dinner Bell? No, does it even show up? I don't think it does. Oh, okay. I got the road right. That's that's what I'm happy about. That's pretty cool looking. But um, I don't think I'm ever going to do it again, mainly just because the amount of time we had to wait in line for some fucking socks was a bit a, a bit absurd. Delta Correctional Facility. Uh, probably a private prison out here. Uh, this seems to be a sign for Escalante State Wildlife Area. I think that's maybe down here. I really don't know. So let's uh, center ourselves maybe. Let's just see if it actually shows up when I scan around. Not seeing it. Uh, oh yeah, there's a lot of dinosaurs they found over here too, just from archaeological stuff. Okay, not seeing it. Although I see great dunes. Could be around here maybe. Let's continue this way. Because there's some signage and potential information. I believe that's just the speed limit sign. I'm going to ignore it. This may say we're on Highway 50. Okay, here's Highway 50. We're on the same one again. Wait, were we on... Uh, what were we on? Were we on the Escalante? Whatever the hell it was. Escalante State Wildlife. Okay. So here's Dominguez Escalante. There's Delta. So Delta Prison should be actually like over here. I think I, I want to say nailed it, but got extremely close. We're on a turn down towards, so we're actually like maybe right here. I want to see if I can find the Delta Jail. I don't see it. I'm really trying hard to find it. <laughs> All right, let's uh, just get into town here. Maybe further figure out where we are. So that's G50 Road. There's G50 Road. Okay. So we were actually like right about here. Let's hit home and triangulate a bit. Yeah, because if we go up here, maybe Star Nelson Road will be up here. Just around the bend. Maybe not. Maybe? Nelson. Adopt a highway program. 
case you're wondering and you wanted to uh, become a highways father or mother or whatever, you totally can. I'm sorry, I have a text message. All right, I have to respond back to it very quickly. I pretty much nailed this. So once I finish this uh, text, I'm going to hit guess. So take your bets now whether or not I'm actually uh, within 49.50 or not. Till there's some really shitty weather that's coming in this, like when I'm recording this, it's going to be going through mainly the rest of the day, but it hasn't hit yet. So I got out before the weather turned bad. The roads, how about your drive back? All right, five seconds made guess. I was, I was as close as you can get, I guess. Let's uh, just soak it in and did pretty well. I mean, got awful on that one, but, you know, that was just suburbia there. And let's think on the state motto before we go home. I actually have to look up something really quick as I copy that, put it up here. It is, oh, well, the motto for Colorado is nil sign new mine or whatever. You can probably speak better Latin than I can, which just means nothing without providence. I don't know if I fully believe that, but hey, Colorado can do whatever it wants. But for us, once again, I'd like to thank you all for watching. Monday's done. Uh, next week at this time will be another very angular state, very tiny. Connecticut. 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 It's going to be probably really bad. I think I've done that one before when I was on the trip in Iceland, but maybe I can do better than the score I did then. But anyway, that's going to do us for today. Once again, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, complaints, ideas, suggestions, gripes, anything you want, go ahead and put them in the comments below. Uh, I think I'm going to do another um, potential thing for Tuesday. Uh, maybe Tuesday and a Thursday. I don't know how much I want to invest into it, but I'm getting that urge to be like, eh, maybe do a couple other things, but I just need a uh, gumption to do it, and, you know, people seem interested in it, I'll definitely do it. So, I definitely will make a little announcement on the Facebook page if actually anything shows up, but You'll at least have something on Wednesday. So uh, until then, at least, have a good one, folks. We'll see you soon. Goodbye.